Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging. Actually, it is nighttime here and I've been doing a couple videos on Miss Beyonce Knows Quarter and if you haven't had an opportunity to check them out, you have, you definitely have to check those out. We're talking sacrifice, we're talking, um, you just, the viewing wakes, we're talking it all. But today in particular, we're going to be talking Ted Kennedy. Now, I have actually talked about him on my community tab and if you guys aren't new to my to community tab, well, then go good for you but if you are new to my youtube channel i want you guys to know that a lot of the information that i am sharing is definitely coming off of my community tab and i definitely i highly recommend actually that you check out that uh content anyhow in particular today we're going to be talking a um a, be a death actually i don't know why i got sucks in death but we're going to be talking a death a death that was not reported as a homicide actually it was a drowning that occurred now, um, before I get into it, I want you guys to understand who Ted Kennedy is or who, who he is related to, who he has some relations with. Now, if you guys don't know, Ted Kennedy's father is John F. Kennedy. Now, John F. Kennedy was the 35th president of the United States. That is something that you probably did not know. And if you did, well, kudos to you, friend. I mean, you really pay attention to politics, the government, and everything else. That's good. You should be. <laughs> but yes, he was the 35th president of the United States. And he served as the president from January 20th, 1961, um, until he was assassinated in um, November 22nd, 1963. So this man right here, he was definitely an advocate for like human rights, civil rights movement. And um, he was eventually assassinated for his thoughts and opinions. Now, I want you guys to know something. Uh, John F. Kennedy actually had three children. Did you know that? Now, I'm sure if you pay attention to, you know, life, history, um, presidents, I'm sure you already know. But if you don't know, I want you guys to know that his three children, they were all boys. It was Jack Kennedy. It was Bobby Kennedy and Ted Kennedy. Ted Kennedy, of course, was the youngest child. Um, but, um, you know, they uh, actually were saying that Ted was one of those children that was... Um, he, he had a, a wild side to him, which most teenagers, they do. It's nothing wrong with it being um, wanting to venture, especially wanting to venture, knowing that your dad was assassinated and living without him. That Those behaviors can be at times normal for uh, a child just wanting to like react, lash out, um, let the world know exactly how he was feeling. But how he was lashing out mm, is definitely giving interesting. So I'm going to read these statement of facts that I saw on my community tab. And I want you guys to let me know how you feel. It says here that Ted had been driving back from a party to the family's compound on Martha's Vineyard when he veered off a bridge and into a deep tidal dike. Mary Jo was in the back seat, and while he claimed he was just giving her a lift back to her hotel, it was wildly thought that he had picked her up for sex. Kennedy swarm or swam, excuse me, ashore to save himself, but Mary Jo drowned. In fact, it was even worse than that. It was nine hours before he reported the accident. In the meantime, he walked back to the motel, complained to the manager about a noisy party, took a shower. Could you believe this? This man complained about a party, took a shower, went to sleep, ordered a newspaper, and then he woke up, spoke to a friend and two lawyers before finally calling the police. All this time, this woman, this young lady was drowning. She's dead in this, <laughs> this situation. It's just, it's just interesting. Now, I want you guys to understand that Ted used the family name to save his neck. And others stated, and, excuse me, in another state, but Mass, uh, Massachusetts, the Kennedys, home turf and with any other name he would have been charged with homicide instead he escaped with a slap on the wrist a two-year suspended sentence and the loss of his driver's license he had been allowed to plead guilty to 
no more than the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. So, you know, it is very much so interesting when it comes to these uh, government officials, someone who's related to a president, when they commit crimes, um, it's not really, it's not really investigated. That's the word I'm looking for. This man, he committed homicide and he's a walking free criminal and he got away from doing this crime because he was related to John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, the late president, was his father. And I, that is not a thriller. I don't know what the fudge is. Anyhow, I wanted to share that information with you guys just in case you didn't know it. Because I thought it was interesting. And because it's interesting to me, it may be interesting to you just to know that, you know, you know, life sh shit ain't fair. You know, it ain't, it's really not. These people, they can get away with some heinous things and other people will be considered murderers and they're walking around being politicians and there are horror stories now ain't that a thriller anyhow i hope you guys and learn uh, excuse me i hope you guys enjoy learning a little bit about mr ted kennedy with the initials tk um martha's vineyard as well as a drowning that he will be associated with for the rest of his life Anyhow, with that being noted, peace, love, and happiness, guys. I hope you guys are out there being safe, staying blessed, paying attention to laws, rules, and regulations. Pay attention to my community tab because I have a lot of content that's out there for you that you may be interested in as well as, okay, my Instagram. Although I'm not there often, I am there. And my Instagram is T-K-K-N-O-W-L-E-S-0-1. So if you want to comment, like, subscribe, you're more than welcome to do so. Bye, guys.